Apparently, people really don't like that Corridor Digital video. And I get it, right? I get it, it's a terrible fucking video, okay? <laughs> it's fucking awful. Does it look like shit? Yes. Um, is it bad, like, as a narrative? Yes. I say this as someone with a bunch of anime posters on my wall, right? Like, I, I know anime. Uh, the shit looks awful. The shit just takes, like, the most obvious, blatant stereotypes about anime and mashes them together without any real comedy or form or narrative. It's, it's not very good. It's not very good. It looks ugly and it's badly written. It's badly performed. It's not good. I'm not here to tell you you're wrong for disliking the video. You're right for disliking the video. The video fucking sucks. Okay, we got that out of the way. We got that right out of the gate, out of the way, straight away. You know I'm not here to tell you the video is good and you're wrong for disliking it. However, uh, a lot of people think it's bad because of the AI. Um, now I will say the best thing about the video is that it's brought to more people's attention the existence of Vampire Hunter D, which is fucking awesome. Uh, you should go watch Vampire Hunter D, because that show is sick, and the movie that Coral Digital trained their AI on is Kino. The counterpoint I want to bring in to this argument is that the anti-AI people, I don't think you realise that you don't want to live in the world that you're asking for. Because if you're saying we shouldn't be allowed to create AI models based off of specific art styles, that this is somehow stealing, um, what you're saying is that corporations should be able to copyright and own styles. I think this is insane. You don't want to live in that world. You don't want to live in the world where you, as an independent artist, come up with some style and then Disney sues you because it's too close to them. There's infinitely different many ways that this could be abused. I mean, you can see this in the music industry, especially in the pop music industry. Adam Neely has made a, a couple of videos about copyright abuse uh, in the music industry where people bring these frivolous copyright lawsuits to songs that just have a small part that's kind of sounds similar to another song and they win. So I don't think you want to live in the world where giant corporations can copyright styles um, and you're not allowed to use them. That seems like a terrible world to live in. I don't, I don't think you want to live in that world. We need to let go of this idea of art as property. Now, your counterpoint would probably be, artists need to get paid. And listen, I hear you, okay? I'm an artist, I'm not a visual artist, but I make music. There is quite a bit of distortion thrown onto the no thank you version. So you might be sitting here thinking, well, you know, what do you care about visual artists? You're just sitting there in your high tower preaching about what we should be saying. Hold on a goddamn minute, okay? AI might not be the best at making music just yet, but I guarantee you in two, three years time, that shit is gonna be on point. But really the problem isn't that I can't own my art as property anymore because art as property is just a terrible fucking idea. The real problem is that we're paying people for the wrong part of art. Artists, they do the work, right? Studying their craft, creating their painting or their song or whatever. They do all that part for free and then they get paid to take down a paywall that they artificially put on the, the work. This is a terrible monetization strategy. We pay artists in the completely wrong way. So what is actually the solution for this? Because I understand you might feel a bit weird if you spent years and years honing your craft in order to draw in a particular style and then someone else spends an hour training an AI model on it and can suddenly reproduce it for free. You might feel a little cheated. You might feel a little weird about that. I understand. Uh, fortunately, we have a solution. It already exists. It's called Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike License. All of my music, all of my videos are released under this license. I think this is a godsend. This is a godsend. This is a gift from God to the art community. So what this means is if you release your work under this license, it is in the Creative Commons and anyone can use it, remix it, share it, adapt it, do whatever they want with it, as long as they give attribution to whoever made the original work. So you have to say, this work uses a piece of this original thing. So you still get credit, right? That's the first thing. And secondly, share alike. This is the important part. Whatever they make also has to be released under the Creative Commons license. So they can do whatever they want with your stuff as long as they attribute it to you and they also release their work free. And then everyone can live in this beautiful utopian paradise of sharing and collaborating and remixing and sampling art to their heart's content 
without the possibility of some giant company coming along and monetizing your creation and stealing it for themselves. What we don't want is to enforce these property rights on art because the people who benefit from property rights are those at the top of the economy. And they're, they're having, having a disco. disco. Okay, they're having a disco. Meanwhile, the people at the bottom, people like you and me, independent, normal artists, uh, we don't benefit from art as property. We just don't, we never have. Once in a while, you have an artist who somehow locks into getting uh, their art bought by an industry big giant corporation. And those individuals do very well off of that. But as a whole, artists do not benefit from this system. And it would not surprise me, not to get too schizo, but it would not surprise me if a lot of this sentiment around AI art and how we need to implement further stronger property rights to protect styles is being perpetuated by maybe a little couple of dodgy accounts that might come from some of these giant corporations that are like art corporations like Disney and so on who want to be able to own their own styles and have as tight control over their uh, intellectual property as possible so that you can't compete in the market. They want to own everything so that they can eventually own you. A lot of this debate around AI art is actually a debate around whether or not we want to let giant corporations be able to copyright their own styles uh, and essentially steal from the pool of, of creativity, the infinite pool from which every artist uh, takes their ideas from of human imagination that is now being segregated cut up sectioned off can't go there that's walled off that's private property you know and somehow this is supposed to help small artists it's insane to me and if you want to go further and you want to understand why copyright might be a bit of a problem just in general uh, kind of beyond the scope of this video but I highly recommend you check out Patricia Taxon's videos uh, on this subject which I have linked in the description uh, they're really great and I highly recommend watching them you don't have the opportunity for giant corporations to take advantage of people people can still get paid I still get paid for my art for my music even though it's released under Creative Commons none of this is actually about AI this is about art as property uh, and I, I think people are being pushed in the wrong direction because they see AI as sort of this tech bro understandably they see AI as sort of this tech bro sphere just like NFTs before them uh, as this sort of financialized uh, you know tech, bigger tech giant thing that is coming to like take away your rights as a small artist and I get it because that is kind of what it feels like uh, but we have to be careful that we don't accidentally give too much power to the old school media giants uh, just because we're scared of giving power to the new school tech giants. Um, actually think, do you want to live in the world that you're proposing? Do you want to live in a world where styles can be copyrighted and you can't create something as a fan work or anything like this in someone else's style? What does that even mean? What does it even mean to copyright a style? Do you want to live in a world where that's a question that needs to be answered? I don't think so. I don't want to live in that world. I would rather live in a world where art was attributed and distributed freely. Is the Corridor Digital video bad? Yeah. Yeah, it's not very good. It sucks. Uh, it looks like shit. It's a bad video. But do we need to freak out and say, hold on a minute, those Vampire Hunter D creators, is it Madhouse? I think it's Madhouse. They should have copyrighted their style. No, we don't have to jump that far, okay? We don't have to jump that far. We can just say the video's bad. We can just say the video's bad.